Hey everyone, Paul Daniels here, another daily fix, well, it's more like a monthly fix at this rate. Alright, so it's been a while, so you're going to have to forgive me because I've got another A1466 and this one's just dead. Apparently, a person was using it and it just dropped dead in the middle of the job. So, um, I kind of like these sort of jobs because, you yeah, know, it's very absolute. It's like, no power, great, let's get on with it. So, I guess without further ado, let's get into it and see if we can fix it. So no doubt many of you have been wondering where on earth I've been. Uh, it's nothing major. It's just a lot of work to be done here that's not MacBook related. I've also been extraordinarily busy with Flexboard View, of course. Uh, it sort of just happens that it's easier for me to commit to a couple of months of coding directly, full time, so to speak, and then back off for another nine to 12 months after that also means that I can sort of, because I can focus so much more into it, it's easier to do the big features. Uh, let's open this up. Uh, see how we go. What the heck? The Wi-Fi is off on that? That's weird. Didn't normally expect the Wi-Fi cables to be free-floating. Disconnect their power. Not sure what happened there. That's also disconnected. It's almost like this went for a major hit or something. Get the data out. Let's get the battery out. Anyway, now Flexboard View is pretty much at stable point. I'm quite happy with how it is. Added a few new important file formats like GenCAD and Altium Designer, uh, Protel ASCII type, uh, Fabmaster. Formats that will make it easier for people to use board views from other programs or programs that they themselves own. Uh, so far, looking pretty clean out, right? Let's have a quick squiz over the board and see if there's anything obvious at least. That's kind of weird that that... I wonder if it was just that. Could it possibly have been just that? Let's plug that back in. No, sadly that is not the case. I'm going to put the power supply to it and see if we can't get an idea of how much current it's drawing. 12 million. A bad DC board maybe. This is a 00165 board so it will get fickle about which MagSafe I use. Yeah, okay, so it's not the DC board. Given that we're not even getting MagSafe, it's uh, hopefully a good sign in the sense that we haven't lost blown a PCH or anything like that. And okay, yeah, we've got corrosion here, so there's probably going to be corrosion on the other side, around the SMC area. And that's actually pretty nasty. It's really eaten into the board. <coughs> Alright, let's get the board out. And yep, a fair bit of junk around the SMC. It doesn't look like it made it to the SMC, but yeah, there's certainly enough and that's bad news. Backlight's also messed up. What the heck? That's missing. That should not be missing. And what is that? I think we're going to have to turn the ultrasonic cleaner on for this one for sure. The backlight ball isn't the feedback ball. That's... oh man. It's hard to say whether they'll be okay or not. A lot of this really is something that would be fixed with flux and boil. Uh, let's see if we're getting 3v42 anyway. Yeah, we've got 3v42. I'm guessing we don't have G3 hot though. Yeah, SMC is not coming up. Uh, at this stage, rather than picking a winner, 
we might just go around and be the janitor repairer and fix up anything that we feel is damaged. So in this case we're looking at this area here which is U5110 and what do you know, it's the SMC reset supervisor. So that is probably our primary cause and we've got a broken trace right there. Uh, looks like it's pretty damn close to broken. I wonder what that is. It's pin, yeah, second one here. Pin three. And that's voltage in. So chances are probably not getting voltage there. Alright, let's clean up this zone and maybe we'll get our SMC back up and running. I'm almost 100% sure that there's no continuity there. I mean, if you look at that, that's just cut right through. I do wonder, is that a via there? No. So let's check our continuity between those two points. Nothing. Yeah. So given that that feeds the power to that chip, which is responsible for controlling the SMC reset, I think we have a solution there. So we're just scrapey scrapey. That cat probably could stand to be replaced. We'll just get rid of that now. I mean it might be okay but it did have a fair bit of junk on it so I better just remove it. And that resistor, this resistor here should be zero ohm so it probably wouldn't hurt to check that that's good too and hasn't blown. That doesn't seem convincing. Two twenty nine ohm, that's a little high for a zero ohm resistor. So get rid of you too. bit of flux because we don't believe in depleting the world supply of flux. We'll get our parts from a donor now. Let's just verify that that's also a zero ohm. Yeah, that's far more like it. And now we just have to reconnect the two sides. Now this does have a little bit of power going through it. Actually, what am I talking about? No, this probably doesn't really have a lot of power. Anyway, we're going to use the thicker stuff anyway. Strictly speaking, I could have connected to this, but uh, I'm just going to keep with the flow of the track. Just going to add a little more solder on top. It's a little judicious, but we'll make sure it stays pleasantly secured. We will cover that up with UV, but at least that is a strong connection. Now looking at the other side, 
Yeah, I think we probably should flux and boil this area here. I don't want to turn it on and have that backlight need to uh, choke up on itself. So we're going to flux and boil this area, stop it doing dumb things. Now I'm suspecting this is some kind of alcohol, so I'm using uh, like a drink, like Coke or something. So I'm using water and alcohol to get it off. I try to use just isopropylene, it would be fairly reluctant and I'd be struggling scrubbing it off for quite a bit. But the water component comes, just evaporates pretty quickly around here. That pad there could be a problem as well. So it's these test vias I'm not concerned about, but I do want to be sure this. Yeah, there's a bit of etching on it, but I think it's got continuity. We scrape it back a little and hit it with some solder just to give us that little bit more confidence otherwise what might happen in a couple of months is it might finally break free That's a nicely done touch up. Yeah. Let's flux and solder this area as well. Oh, flux and boil rather. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we want to be soldering so much. My iPhone sickle hook. Clear out the stuff that comes up between the very good to get one of these things, even if you don't use iPhones. Makes it substantially easier to get junk out between pins. Uh, I don't think we really covered the SMC area properly yet. Plenty of trash here. Yeah, this resistor here is giving me cause for concern. This will try and touch it up with the soldering iron. I just don't like seeing the grey end on it. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I wonder what that resistor was actually for. This one here. Interesting, that's part of the pull up on that SMC reset line. Huh. That'll explain perhaps why it was corroded on one end because of the. Uh, well we saw that the zero ohm link resistor was high, which means we must have had some fairly high level of current going through there. Alright then. Uh, I think that's everything. I think we can give this a test now. That's a, I might just scrub that down with a bit of isopropylene. Just so I can have a better look at the pads. Uh, 
crust of junk. Get out of there. They're a little dirty, but they'll come out in the ultrasonic. Pretty sure it's just dirt, not not uh, corrosion per se. Alright, fingers crossed. Green light. Bane spin. We gotta win. Plug a USB stick in there just to be sure that I do have activity. Yep, yeah, we got blinking, we got CPU activity. Alright, we gotta win. That's good. After all this time, it's nice to get back into the YouTube and actually have a successful job. It was a nice job in the fact that it was more than just one teeny little piece. Uh, had a bit of uh, bit of chasing around to do. Uh, I'm going to put this in the ultrasonic, and that should come out just perfect and scrub out all that junk that's on there. The I suspect it's just coke that's spilled in there. Anyway, thank you all for watching. You all take care. I'll see you next time.